Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I wanna walk you through how you can sell print-on-demand products on Walmart, online, walmart.com, using the Printify Direct Integration. To date, they are the only production partner that I'm aware of that has a Walmart connection so that you get that automated fulfillment, which you know is like a requirement for me because uh, I don't have time to be manually creating these fulfillment orders. So I finally got it working. I'm gonna walk you through everything you need to do to replicate this so that you can get started selling on Walmart. Let's get to it. Just so you guys know, in my presentation, I am borrowing some slides from somebody at Printify that I sat in on their like 10 minute um, walkthrough of how to do this. And it took me months to actually get this up and running. Uh, I mentioned I had to go through the whole process twice. I don't really know why, but again, like I said, I eventually did go through it the second time, got it all working. So, you know, that part is history. Uh, some things from their presentation, I don't know. I feel kind of weird like <laughs> reading it directly because it is kind of their points. Um, but they are currently like the only direct print on demand integration that is Printify. And by the way, if you're not on Printify yet, use my link in the description and code Ryan in uppercase, and that will get you a free month of Printify Premium. Uh, pretty good deal, you know what I mean? There's no catch there. And that way, when they fulfill your orders, you will get a better price on the fulfillment costs, which means more profit for you. All right, now there's fewer sellers on other market than other markets on Walmart. Um, I won't give you the full history, but I've been trying to sell on Walmart for a couple of years now, I think like over two, and just had issues getting accepted for really no reason. Um, but fortunately, they redid their whole Walmart seller account application they simplified it and they made it so that people like me, seasoned e-commerce sellers, don't get rejected for no reason. So fortunately, I went through it again for like the third or fourth time, but on the new workflow and got accepted. And that is a requirement, by the way. So step one, uh, you need to create your store. Uh, Walmart Marketplace is available for people that live in the following countries. United States, Canada, Mexico, United Kingdom, Japan, India and China and Hong Kong. Now they're probably going to expand that list. So depending on when you're watching this video, it may have expanded to your country. So don't use this as a definitive if it's been been a while. All right, go and check. Step two, you need to request to sell on Walmart. This is what I was just referring to about opening your seller account. Uh, by the way, unlike Amazon, to date as of right now, uh, it's free. All right, I don't have to put a credit card and pay monthly or anything like that. Here are the things you need. You need a US business tax ID. They don't accept a social security number, a W9 or W8 and EIN verification letter. So I guess that's your tax ID, uh, address of physical operation, a US business address, planned integration method for your product catalog. So that's going to be API for Printify and primary product categories, catalog size and related information. So what's the total number of SKUs you're gonna be creating on Walmart uh, using the integration? By the way, um, you know, go, go through it yourself, all right? You should be able to figure it out. If you need step-by-step handholding, I'm going to recommend that you potentially consider either joining my full print-on-demand course or my private community because I will be handholding them exactly as I went through each of these steps uh, over there, you know what I mean? But I'm confident that everybody that watches this video can figure it out without my help. I'm confident of that because I got through it no problem and I know you can, I got faith. All right, step three, authorization. So from the Walmart developer portal, click my account and choose the marketplace. So it says US and Mexico to log into your Walmart for Walmart seller account. Alternatively, find your unique client ID and client secret by navigating to settings and then API key management from seller center. Click add new key for a solution provider and select Printify from the solution provider dropdown. Let me see if I have a screenshot. I think I might have a screenshot of that later. Anyways, when you go to the API key management center, you'll be able to basically have it generate a sp specific secret key for Printify. Printify will be listed in a dropdown of companies and software tools that have an integration with Walmart Seller Center. All right, you provide full access for Printify and then click submit, and then you're gonna need to copy the client ID and client secret uh, into Printify. Um, you don't need to do that right now. Like this is kind of a little bit out of order. So don't worry. I'll circle back in a second. Uh, step four, complete your seller profile. So this is not all going to happen in one sitting. At least it did not for me, right? I think I applied, had to wait to hear back from Walmart. Then I'm accepted. Then I have to complete my seller profile. By the way, Walmart support is like 
world class compared to every other support I've ever experienced on any platform. So seriously, I'm not just saying that like Walmart seller support has been incredible, incredibly good. Um, so if you need help, I'm sure they will help you and point you in the right direction. Anytime I had to lean on them, they've been extremely helpful for me, but the partner profile, seller profile, whatever they call it. Um, you can probably find that in like settings in seller center. And then, um, it's probably listed as like profile. You need to answer. Like, I think it's like a six step process, like six different tabs of information that they need from you before you'll be able to sell. And if you don't do that, then there's no point in proceeding with the printify side of things because you know, it's not going to work. Um, sections that you'll need to complete company info. Yeah. Here are the ones company info, customer service, manage contacts, returns, taxes, shipping info, payment info. All right. And then you'll also need to apply for the following exemptions from Walmart as a print on demand seller. All right. Not if you're selling other stuff, but for print on demand, yes, you will need these a UPC exemption. Anybody that's sold on seller central on Amazon, they are familiar with the G10 exemption, right? We don't want to provide UPC codes for all of our print on demand products because we're probably going to list a lot of products, right? And UPC codes can be expensive with a UPC exemption. You do not need to provide this, right? Just what it sounds like. Uh, and a lag time exemption. So on Walmart, the standard lag time or handling time, as we probably are used to hearing it called, would be two days. All right. By default on Walmart, they do put, you know, pretty pretty strenuous kind of agreement there on, on the sellers on Walmart. But if you apply for a lag time exemption, you can increase it up to five business days. That's what I requested. And that's what I was approved for. Um, by the way, where, where I think my stuff went wrong was the UPC exemption. I had to apply for that twice. And the second time I applied for a bunch more categories, didn't get approved for all of them, but got approved in the ones that mattered like clothing. Um, so I'm still able to list, you know, most print on demand products. All right. And then you go to Printify next and you click add new store. All right. And again, if you're not on Printify, use my link, use my code, get a free month of premium, get the best rates possible for fulfillment. When you're adding a new store, find Walmart us and click connect. Now you need to create your store. So go ahead and name your store, then click connect. That's I'm hiding the button, but it's, you know, down there. Then say, I already have a Walmart seller account. Are you currently making more than 3000 a month on Walmart as a seller? No. And I hit continue next. Remember when we were talking about getting your API keys? Well, this is another thing I had to do twice, by the way, I don't know why, but, um, I had to do it twice. So I went in the second time I deleted the previous time that I had added printify and I re added printify copy and paste the client ID, copy, paste the client secret. All right. It looks like this in the Walmart developer portal. And you can get here by just going to settings in the top right corner. And you know, a little drop down opens up and you can get to pretty much everywhere relevant in seller center. As far as I'm concerned, as far as my experience goes, uh, from that top right drop down. So you can find your way here through there and you can see, I added printify. I copy the client ID. I copy the client secret and then I am good to go next complete your seller profile. So Printify is nudging you. They're giving you the wink, the wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Like, hey, make sure you did this. If you didn't do this, you're going to have problems creating your products. Make sure you did that. I'm pretty sure Walmart emails you and says, hey, your seller profile's complete. Um, <laughs> I've done this over a long enough time horizon where it's like I'm not I don't have everything memorized, even though it was semi recent. It's been over, you know, literally over two months for me from like start to finish. Hopefully it doesn't take you nearly that long. Um, like I said, I had some issues, so. It's still a really new integration, but early adopters, you know, will be the ones that benefit the most, hopefully. All right. So then I click continue by the way, really quickly, just wanted to plug my free print on demand mini course. It is linked in the description. Make sure you take advantage of that. If you give me your email address, I'll send you one lesson a day for eight days. And I've got a great print on demand Facebook community that I hope you'll join. It's also linked in the description. All right. Step five. And I think this is the last step. Requirements to sell. So Printify again is kind of giving you the nudge like, hey, make sure you have your UPC exemption and make sure you have your lag time exemption. Now, I think the UPC exemption is linked in the Walmart help center. If I remember correctly, the lag time exemption is not linked there. So you go to Walmart seller center, you go to help and then there should be like a section that just says exemptions. So you can go ahead and click exemptions 
they may have updated this by the time you watch this video. All right, I'm just saying some time will pass. Some people will be watching this in the future. But for me, I'm pretty sure UPC exemption was there. Lag time was not. So I had to use a contact form to reach out to the Walmart help and say, hey, I need a lag time exemption. And then they say, okay, cool. Provide us with this uh, information. And then I got it taken care of. All right, so I checked the box. I have received or requested UPC and lag time exemptions. I click connect. And then it says, congrats, you are connected you connected a Walmart store. Check out this article on how to start selling. Uh, Walmart accepts only products that can be fulfilled from the U.S. Please select a product and print provider that is U.S. based. So that's also important to note. All right. And then boom, I'm here. I'm in my Printify store that is attached to Walmart. This is where I'm going to, by the way, if you guys haven't used Printify, you're probably going to want to just create a uh, template product so that you can like if it's just a t-shirt you know what i mean like create a t-shirt and then you can just duplicate that every time you want to upload a new design and push a new product to your store um and that that's really the end right now i mean like i said i'm going to be going more in depth in this in my full print on demand course and in my private community if you have questions let me know in the comments and i'll do my best to get back to you but um you know <laughs> like there's only so much time in a day so i do my best here uh, but yeah so guys like this is it. You know, if you've ever published a product through Printify, you just follow that standard workflow. I have never tried to publish more than one product at once. So for me, in my experience, it takes like 40 to 50 minutes on average to publish one t-shirt. So I just kind of sit here throughout the day. I check back. If it says published under status, then I duplicate that. I delete the old design, upload the new design, change the keywords and publish the next one, right? And I just keep doing this. I'm just gonna keep grinding away, building a catalog. Oh, I'm a YouTuber with 120,000 subscribers. Doesn't mean I'm not willing to put in the work, get my hands dirty so that I can show you my success, my numbers a year from now, right? And show you that it works. So I'm just being transparent with you guys. Like I just got started. I've got, you know, probably 20 products listed right now. Haven't made that first sale yet, but I know that they are available for sale. On Walmart, um, I missed, you know, the the easy sales time when, um, you know, Christmas sales are taking place, but that's because it, you know, had to go through some of these things twice. Anyways, guys, I'll drop some additional links that point you to the Printify Help Center as well in the description of this video so that you can go check them out and get maybe some help that you may need if I can't respond to every comment or if you don't want to, you know, check out my course or my private community. Speaking of that, they are also linked in the description, guys, my full POD course where I will be adding a Walmart module and it will go in more depth than we did in this video, including like the answers to the questions they ask you for the GTN exemption and the lag time exemption. I've got all those basically a copy pasted templated response that I know works because it worked for me. Yeah, I was smart enough to save those as I did it. <laughs> Figured I'd be making a course on this. And I've got a great private community where I go live once a week minimum and I do office hours once a week minimum and you can message me, you can ask me questions, whatever it is, all right? And I post resources. I'll be posting step-by-step -step how to do Walmart there as soon as I finish this video. So that's definitely worth considering. It is linked in the description and I've got a code down there with 40% off so you can save. Guys, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you tomorrow with a new video. Thank <laughs> you.